Some of you younger members of the audience out there might not remember this, but does anybody remember that amazing Will Smith song for the Men in Black movie? Here come the Men in Black, won't let you remember. The good guys dressed in black, remember that, just in case we have a face-to-face -face and make contact. <laughs> I am ridiculous. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I am absolutely fascinated with YouTube culture, so sometimes I dive into a little YouTube commentary. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, and you know I got them sick raps. But anyways, yeah, I wanted to talk about this. It's like Daniel Cohn just pulled a Men in Black, and I'm fascinated by it, and I just wanted to discuss it a little bit. I was actually just uh, texting with a fellow fellow YouTuber friend of mine about it. So any of the, you uh, who are not caught up to speed on what's been going on, like, Danielle Cohn was just all over the place for like the last like week and a half, two weeks, okay? It all started out with some like Instagram pictures, some Instagram stories, um, with her boyfriend, Mikey Tua, still don't know if it's Tua or T-U-A or whatever it is, but it appeared as though she was pregnant. And one of the controversies that's always been surrounding Danny Cohn is her age, all right? She says she's 15, some people say she's 12, all that stuff that is just something I don't feel like diving into, I don't care. But anyways, so, but yeah, her being pregnant at that age was controversial, right? Then her and her boyfriend ended up coming to Vegas and they got quote unquote, married, which we found out was fake and everything like that. Then they posted a video of a gender reveal party where they announced, hey, it's a girl, yay, and everybody's freaking out, and then boom, they dropped the bomb on everybody. This was all an elaborate prank, which they did, then turned into a PSA about safe sex, teen pregnancy, and all that stuff, all right? But anyways, I was just absolutely blown away by this because Cancel culture is a thing that we, we live in, right? And I remember seeing Danny Cohn's video going up and people are saying like, oh, you're canceled, you're done, you're through, da 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 da. And it's true, when she posted that video, boom, she lost like 3,000 subscribers, which is absolutely nothing, by the way. So here's her social blade, all right? So on her social blade, as you can see, leading up to this, when all this um, news was going on, when everybody was talking about her, she was gaining tens of thousands of subscribers, tens of thousands, right? On average, she gets a couple thousand a day. So there was one day where she lost 3,000 subscribers, and after that, she made them right back. And like, here's the other thing. Like, everybody's just forgotten about it, including Danny Cohn. Like, she actually deleted that video and then put it back up. So she didn't really delete it. Usually you just hit like the private setting or unlisted setting so the public can't see it, but it's back up, it's there. I just saw this as I was thinking about this, but like, check out her Twitter. Like, check out her Twitter. She just acted like nothing happened. And I'm like, dang girl, that's hella men in black style right there. Like, and nobody's talking about it. Nobody's talking about it anymore. And that's cool. Like, I think we should all move on, but it's just fascinating to me because as a society, like we, we move on very quickly. And I have a few theories about why this happens. So one of the things is, is the 24 seven news cycle, right? We are constantly inundated with news, constantly, just constantly, whether it's like YouTuber news, celebrity news, but also like major tragedies happening in the world. There's a lot of political stuff's going on. Like we're living in a time that is different than any other time in history where news is constantly just being thrown in our face, right? So, so I think a lot of us, what we do is we prioritize, like what's important, right? Like uh, a 15 year old girl, like pretending to be pregnant and getting married for views, like meh, not that high on the priority scale, especially when you take into consideration like the Mueller report was just released and there's a lot of stuff going on with the Trump presidency. Um, that awful tragedy that happened in Sri Lanka on Easter Sunday. You know, like these are like major things that are happening. So how long are people really focusing on this? And I mentioned this in my last video about Danny Cohn as well. Like she's not gonna get canceled because 
you have to look at who our primary demographic is, right? It's kids. It's kids. They don't care. They're like, haha, cool, nice video. You know, like they don't care. They don't care. Like the videos made about her were getting hundreds of thousands of views, and she barely, barely got a like my man Chris D'Elia would say, didn't even get a dent. All right, like just nothing, and she's still just going and thriving, just talking about it, like just talking about nothing happened. Like so. So the other thing is too, just within the commentary community, like how long does a story go on for? How long um, do people talk about it for? How long is it relevant? I feel like for the commentary community, Danielle Cohn is always a topic of conversation just because she is so young and she has so much fame and a lot of people see what she's doing as controversial. But the next thing, the next theory I have as to why everybody just kind of forgot about this thing and moved on is because she's young, okay? Something I talked about in a video I did a, a while back about Angelica Oles and the commentary community as a whole, myself included, is I talked about um, uh, expectancy theory, I talked about confirmation bias, and all these other things, right? So expectancy theory is this uh, psychological theory about what we expect from different people, right? So I think her age plays in a role into how quickly people moved on from this story, right? She's 15, possibly 12. Like, she's young, she goofed, like, she didn't even have to make an apology video. Like, in the realm of like social media influencers and YouTube influencers and all of that, like apology videos are like the thing. Like, I've had my own history with those. But she didn't even have to do that. Like, all she had was what you guys see on the screen behind me was just like, hey, sorry we tricked you. We just thought it'd be kind of fun. You know, so she's a kid. So, like, I think that's another reason why we moved on very quickly and everybody just kind of forgot about it. Now, something that is constantly brought up is Danny Cohn's mother, all right? Danny Cohn's mother is clearly involved in the work that Danny Cohn does, like being an influencer on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTuber and all those, like Danny Cohn's mother is clearly involved. She's also been in videos with Danny Cohn. So I guess the question is, is like how much responsibility is on her and everything. But here's the thing, like through some other videos I saw about Danny Cohn, Danny Cohn comes from, you know, uh, a background of like childhood pageantry and things like that. and. I never watched it, but I think like even Jojo Siwa came from like the dance moms, you know, whatever it was. But, you know, that's just kind of how those parents parent, I guess, you know, and it's something that, I don't know, it's something that I battle with because a lot of kids these days, they want to be a YouTuber or they want to be an influencer. And, you know, I have a 10 year old son. And when I see what kind of goes on in uh, the culture of uh, social media and YouTube and Twitch and everything, I'm like, yeah, so he's kind of he's kind of backed off it, and I'm not really like trying to pressure him into it. But if it comes up again, it's some. These are all things that I take into consideration as a parent. All right. The last thing, the last thing I think why everybody kind of moved on and forgot about this thing so so quickly is is because Danny Cohn herself moved on, right? Like Danielle didn't make an apology video. The only thing she had was that right there. She didn't even address publicly, to my knowledge, why she deleted that video or took it down and then put it back up. And she's just tweeting, she's on Instagram, you know, just, she's uploaded, this is like her third or fourth video since the gender, the, the gender reveal party prank, the whole pregnancy prank thing. Like Danielle just kind of like kept it moving and just kept doing her thing. Like she just moved forward. I'm like, dang, right? and. I don't know, I don't know, like, I, I am just constantly analyzing everything, and like, cancel culture is something that's just very fascinating to me, and I'm extremely against it, because I don't, I don't know, everybody's human, they're gonna make mistakes, and it's just about turning knowledge into wisdom, and wisdom is taking action on your knowledge, right? So, did Danny Cohn, like, learn from this? I don't know, maybe. Maybe she did. I, I would figure that um, she did see the negative feedback once she posted um, the, the video and saying how it was all a prank, even though everybody kind of knew it was already. But I don't know. She's just continuing to do her own thing. And these are just a few factors as to why I personally believe everybody kind of forgot about this and just moved 
on from it, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this down below because in the YouTube community, we've seen other controversies and everything be drawn out for days, weeks, months even, and this was kind of just like, boom, it happened, now we all forgot. We, got, we just got men in black, all of us did. So let me know your thoughts on this subject down below. What factors do you think have to play in? Do you think it's the, the constant news cycle? Do you think it's the age? Do you think it's the fact that she just kind of moved on and didn't address anything? There's some other YouTubers that I can think of that kind of did the same thing, and they kind of came out on the other side pretty much unscathed, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to support the channel, if you enjoy what I do here and you want some exclusive content and get involved in our monthly Q&A, click or tap right there, all right? Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.